lovely Virgo. Welcome to October. This is Gwendolyn. Welcome back to the channel. Or if it's your first time here, welcome. This video is going to be a monthly telescope for Virgo for October, and we have some interesting things going on in October. We have a Venus retrograde in Scorpio, and that starts October 5th and lasts till mid-November. And that's happening in your third house of friendships. Um, so often when we have a Venus retrograde, it can bring people back from our past. Sometimes an old lover will show up, um, especially someone who you were friends with because it is in your third house of friendship. Um, for some of you, it may be just reviewing your love life, looking back, um, seeing, this is interesting, seeing what was true for you, maybe giving someone a second chance on something. Um, but regardless, it's just sort of like moving backwards. The past can show up during a Venus retrograde. Um, also, October is numerologically a one month. So when we add one to the current year's energies, we get um, the, the number and the vibration for next year's energies. So sometimes it can be a window or a snapshot or a preview into what is yet to come for next year. So it's often interesting to pay attention to what happens in October. Um, I also want to just thank everyone so much. We just hit half a million views on this channel. So I really appreciate all of my viewers and all of my stars, all of my subscribers, and it wouldn't be possible without you. So thank you for that as well. So I'm going to just shuffle here a little bit and then we'll get right into the October telescope for Virgo. We're also, the sun is in Libra right now, so this is all about balancing energies. Um, we're out of the retrogrades of the summer. Pluto, which has been retrograding since April, also just went direct. So there was a lot of intense energy with some of those retrogrades, and that is all cleared out now. So it may start to feel like forward, balanced, if, if ever so gentle, forward movement. Um, let's see what's coming up for Virgo. We open with Six of Wands. So there's success here for you this month. You may be feeling like you're riding high at the beginning of October. This is success, triumph, victory, being seen for what you're worth, um, being seen as the person up on the horse, the person who saves the day. And this, this wreath of laurels that is on this pole here, as well as on what he's wearing on his head, is sort of like the... Um, the victory laurel that goes to the winner. So this is recognition, success, triumph, beautiful opening to the month of October, Virgo. Nine of coins. Yeah, this is a card of self-sufficiency. This is like feeling like you've surrounded yourself in a garden with coins, luxuries. It's the person who has made good decisions and therefore is reaping the benefit of that good self-discipline. So you're, you're sitting pretty at the beginning of October, Virgo. You're in a good space. You've really made some good decisions that have benefited you. Um, there's some communication that's coming in at the beginning of October. We've got Eight of Wands, which is things lining up, rapid uh, movement, communication. Things are like 80 to 90% lined up. You may get communication from a past lover, someone that you used to be friends with. Um, but this is, or it could be you communicating with someone who was a past lover, past friend. But you're in a good space, and so it may be that you feel like talking and speaking. It may be that you get some information that resolves something. Um, Eight of Wands can often be news that comes in that unlocks the last puzzle piece, that something feels like it's clear, it's information, news, communication, all of that. Six of Wands, reciprocity. This, sorry, Six of Coins. This is all about balance, mutuality, reciprocity. What you give out is what you get back. And so this is a balancing of the scales and it's someone being generous. So it may be you communicating um, in a very reciprocal way, in a very generous way. It's sort of like you're getting information and it's making you want to be benevolent wanting to 
you know, balance the scales on something. So I really like the beginning of October for you, Virgo. It looks really, it looks like you're in a really good place, ready to communicate. Something is solved, and it's it's also financial um, compensation too. So it's sort of like whatever you put out is what you get back. We've got Page of Cups in reverse, followed by Knight of Swords in reverse. Seven of Swords in Reverse, and Hangman. I'm seeing you see something from a different point of view here, Virgo. You may have had to do a 180 on the way that you were looking at something, and this, this card is great because it provides enlightenment. When you flip yourself upside down and look at something from a different perspective, a different point of view, you get new insights. You get enlightenment on that. And I see that there may have been a situation where you felt like full full charge ahead, saying, being blunt with someone, you know, maybe refusing a love offer, or this could, this is also shady behavior, cutting corners. Um, I see you maybe seeing that in a different way. Like you're getting some insight, some clarity on something that looked like rushing things or a love offer Maybe this could be like the immature side of ourselves. Uh, Page of Cups has to do with infatuation, with love offers, with, um, you know, feeling like a teenager or, or just being acting young in love. But, and this is about cutting corners. This is the deception card. This is the thief card. Um, there, you may be having a new outlook on all of this stuff, rushing too far, too quickly, saying things without thinking about them, um, being sharp with one's words. I'm getting that you are, in October, getting some insight, maybe doing a turnaround, getting some enlightenment about any of these themes, because you're actually, both of these cards are signs of maturity, signs of fairness, so there may be some reflection a new perspective on any of this stuff that um, is getting you to this place of being the victor, the person who rides in on the horse, the hero. We've got Ten of Cups in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, Two of Swords in reverse, and Seven of Coins. So towards the end of the month, there may be, with this reflection on, on all of this stuff, you may get to a point where you have an aha moment of have you been dishonest with yourself about what makes you happy, about where your happiness lies. This is Ace of Swords in reverse, and often this is a truth that is right in front of us that we're trying not to see or that we're trying not to honor. And with it coupled with Ten of Cups, this is happiness, emotional fulfillment, joy in the family and in partnership. So this may be lying to ourselves about where our happiness is, not allowing um, the truth of what really makes us happy to be seen. So it's sort of like saying the truth about what makes you happy is right here in front of you, but you're denying it or that you are actively not allowing it. So this card, Ace of Swords, is usually truth with a capital T. It's revelation. It's clarity. It's honesty. It's just the truth. And Ten of Cups is where everything... It's the most amount of cups on a card, which is emo emotional fulfillment. So what is the truth of what makes you happy, Virgo? Have you been allowing that or have you been denying that? There is an opportunity at the end of the month here um, to... Look at the truth that's staring you right in the face. There is, there's great happiness if you can allow it in. Two of swords in reverse tells me that you may just be not wanting to make a decision on something. Two of swords is about not knowing whether to go left or to go right, not knowing whether to choose option A or B, so you just blindfold yourself and check out. It's saying that I don't want to even look at this. I don't even want to make a decision. I don't, in some ways, maybe I don't want to see the truth. I don't want to choose my own happiness. So I'm just not choosing anything. I'm just going to sit, I'm just going to sit in stasis. For some of you, it may just be wanting peace too. And I do see that there may be some patience involved um, 
towards the end of the month, this is Seven of Coins, which means taking a moment to reflect and consider. Um, this is a harvest. This is something that is not yet ripened, but it's something that you've put time and attention into. And with this Venus in retrograde, it may be a time of reconsideration. Um, are, are the efforts that you're currently putting in, in the current moment, going to reap the harvest that you want, Virgo? Is this something that you want to continue doing or do you want to reconsider? Like, this is the farmer card, so I always ask, are the seeds that you're planting going to reap the harvest that you want? Or do you want to take a moment to reconsider and plant something else? So this is a card of patience, um, reflecting on things, reconsidering things. For some of you, it may be reconsidering things in terms of love as you reflect upon your past. And for some of you, you may just need a time out. And as you gain these insights, of looking at things from a different point of view. Look at really where is your happiness? Have you been honest with yourself about where your happiness is? Because I see you coming out strong at the beginning of the month. You've got, you're in the victory position. You've made some good decisions. There's communication. There's reciprocal and mutual communication here. And you're getting wisdom and insight about maybe thing, how you've approached things in the past or things that have happened in the past. Um, and it's an opportunity to be really honest with yourself about where your happiness is. And that will inform your decisions, even if you're taking time to make them, even if you're wanting to like not look at that right now or just take a pause. It's a really good time to reflect and consider, are the efforts that you're putting towards something reaping the benefits that you want? So it's a really great month for you to just enjoy the decisions you've made, Virgo. Enjoy the place that you've put yourself in. Have some nice communication. Um, and acknowledge to yourself where your happiness really is. And take time to reflect upon that. So I hope everyone has a beautiful October. Again, I want to thank you for all the views. Just hitting half a million um, feels like a nice benchmark. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can always do that at readingsbygwendolyn.com. I'll have a link below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Yours in the stars.